Hello and welcome. Today's video is on Justice League. More specifically, the hashtag release the Snyder Cut movement, which I think needs to stop at this point. I am a fan of the Snyder movies, and I do wish that he would have been able to fully finish his version of Justice League. And it would have, and it probably would have been better than the mess that was him and Joss's mashup. But it's been three years. The, and the fan base at this point are getting a little annoying and kind of toxic, to be honest. And these are just some of the things about this movement that have been pissing me off. So I'm gonna start this off by saying Ben Affleck did an amazing job. He's personally my favorite live action Batman to this point. But people need to let him, let him move on. He's no longer Batman. Yes, it is probably, yes, Warner Brothers probably has a huge part in that because they are very they've been very <clears throat> they've been shown to be very controlling with their movies up to this point but he has come out and said that he would have fallen back in to alcoholism if he had stayed and you know what that's I commend the man if he can't continue as Batman because without hurting himself mentally or f and physically, why force him into it? It it really pisses me off because I've even seen change.org petitions for him to come back, and that's just fucked up. People need to stop, leave him alone. Because one, online petitions suck. They don't work. People are stupid. <laughs> Two. He's already back down. There's a new Batman. He's been chosen. Robert Pat Patterson. You know what? I think he's a pretty underrated actor. I mean, other than Twilight, I've everything I've ever seen him in, he's done really well. So I'm excited to see him. And the suit looks great. The suit looks amazing. And as of recording this today, they had just released... Uh, the Batmobile as well, which is, which is awesome. Super excited for that. Off went off on a tangent, anyways. <laughs> but it's funny because the same people that are whining about Ben Affleck not being Batman now, I feel probably the same people that complained when he first got cast. So people just need to shut the fuck up. And leave it alone. Move on. Let Ben move on. Okay, that's that's it for that. So one of the things I've seen, mostly with Shazam, was, which is my favorite Christmas movie, and yes, it is a Christmas movie, fight me. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, most a lot of people thought, oh, they're just copying Mar the Marvel's formula now, and I can see why they why people say that, and they just boycotted it. Like they've been boycotting movies at this point, which is damaging. They're not. Yes, they've lightened up a little bit, but they needed to. The darker tone Zach had set was not going wasn't going to be able to carry a universe. I thought it worked really well in Man of Steel. I still quite enjoy Batman vs Superman and Justice League to an extent. I ha I don't quite like it as much as I did when I first saw it. But anyways, it needs they needed to move on. And now you have a lot of like, you have a lot of these fans 
the straight up boycotting movies be, just because they won't they haven't released the Snyder cut yet and that they're moving on and that they've cast a new Batman and Henry Campbell might not be Superman anymore and they're moving away from a DCEU kind of connected thing. I mean look at I mean Joker was amazing and it I think because it stands by itself that it was so good. I'm working on a review for that. Well, or I might just have it in a... I haven't decided what I'm doing with my DC update videos yet. Anyways, these fans will complain about... Oh, it's they're just like Marvel movies now. Which, I mean, yeah, Shazam was a little marvel and Aquaman was too. But, like I said, they had to be. But then when a movie doesn't do very well in the box office, they go, oh, see, it wasn't very good. Release the Snyder Cut, even though it, they're the ones boycotting it. It's, and they're going to, I mean, Warner Brothers are either going to continue or the universe is going to die off. So, really, they're not helping anyone or anything other than their poor little egos. Yeah, these fans and Suicide Squad are my two biggest, are two of the biggest issues with the DCEU at the moment. Twitter is obviously where I see most of these fans and they're most prominent and they usually have, you can usually identify them very fast because they shit on everything that's not Snyder Cut. They have, they have the hashtag in their name and probably in their bio and in every other tweet. And you know, what? I'm just I'm just gonna have to show you some of these for you to get the kind of full scope of it. So you have this one. Not or what's worse than heartbreak? Not getting the Snyder cut of Justice League three in three consecutive years of non-stop demanding and anticipation. Hashtag release the Snyder cut and end this madness. Worse than heartbreak. You've got to be kidding me. This person has obviously never been in a relationship. If they think a movie not coming out is worse than heartbreak. The next one pisses me off. <clears throat> Wrong. Disney has sabotaged DC from day one. They assassinated Zack's daughter. Only China sees past Disney's lies. Now this is just fucking delusional. I really doubt that Justice League was that much of a threat. That they needed to do some, like, that Disney would even need to sabotage it. Disney already basically has a monopoly on the end the entertainment industry. But a movie <clears throat> in a universe that's barely holding on to life as it is, is a threat? These people need help. I'm finding, I'm all for finding things wrong that Disney does, but this is like lizard le Lizard people or flat earth level conspiracy theory. Zack Snyder is a very talented director, in my opinion. I, I've always liked his darker tones and visual style. Watchmen in 300, I still watch all the time. Uh, it's extremely unfortunate that he was unable to finish his vision. And if it does ever come out, I will be there to watch it, and it'll be fucking awesome. But until then, just let it go, please. Shut up, and let the hashtag die. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at ahump101. I haven't said that for the last few videos I kept forgetting <laughs> anyways like if you liked dislike if you disliked subscribe if you want more and I'll see you next time